Hello friends. So today I will be talking about AVN or avascular necrosis or osteonecrosis as it is sometimes called. So what is AVN? AVN is a condition in which the blood supply to a bone gets disrupted and as a result the bone dries off and becomes dead. Following this, the joint that is formed at the end of the bone also gradually gets damaged. So what happens after this? Once the joint starts getting damaged, you start getting pain and stiffness in the joint. Which joints are affected? Most commonly it is the hip joint, but we also know that the knee, the ankle, the shoulder and so many other joints in the body can get affected. And how does it present itself? See, we have people coming to us with pain in the hip, pain in the knee, pain in the ankle and difficulty in walking. The joint also becomes stiff over a period of time, allowing less movements and allowing less flexibility in the joint. Unfortunately, AVN or avascular necrosis tends to affect the younger population. People in their 20s and 30s tend to get affected. As luck would have it, once the disease is fairly advanced, the only treatment available is to do a joint replacement, as in change the surface of the joint like a hip replacement or a knee replacement. Hence, it is important to catch these patients of AVN or osteonecrosis at the early stage and treat them at that stage so that the joint does not get completely destroyed. Obviously, a question that goes to the mind is what causes osteonecrosis? We know certain causes like use of alcohol or use of steroids which has become very common in present times of COVID. Apart from that, there's a fair number of patients in whom no apparent cause is identified. So what can we do about it? Well, whenever a person gets joint pain, joint stiffness, say in the hip, in the knee, one must see the orthopedic surgeon. What we then do is to examine the patient thoroughly, find out the cause and get relevant x-rays. Sometimes the x-rays may not be able to show AVN. Those are the early stages of AVN and can be picked up with the help of MRI scans. Now, how do we go about treating it? In these early stages, we can look at some conservative treatment like giving various medicines, for example, bisphosphonates and also taking weight off the joint by giving the patient sticks, etc. In the advanced stages of AVN, when the joint gets completely damaged, we have nothing else but to rely on a total knee replacement or a total hip replacement, some kind of a total joint replacement therapy for these patients. Now, whenever we find early stages of AVN, we obviously want to cure them. One new treatment that has come up and has got a lot of scientific evidence behind it is stem cell therapy. So what is it all about? In stem cell therapy, we aspirate the bone marrow of a person affected with AVN with the help of a syringe and send it to a lab. The lab then cultures these stem cells to produce bone forming cells or osteoblasts and multiplies them manifold. With these multiplied osteoblasts, we get these cultures to be implanted back into the bone, thereby creating healthy bone. So what we then do once we have the cultured osteoblast with us, the bone forming cells, we go in with the surgery and clean out all the dead and dried bone from inside. Following this, we implant the created cavity with these osteoblasts. This itself is a fairly new concept of utilizing stem cell therapy in orthopedics. We've gone a step further and now we are doing this surgery with arthroscopic or keyhole techniques. How that works is essentially we use a telescope and a camera attached to it and introduce it into the bone through small keyholes and thereby use the help of this visualization to clean out all the dead bone. Once all the dead bone is cleaned out and the cavity is created, we implant these cultured osteoblasts or bone forming cells inside under camera vision. This enables us to perform the entire procedure with very small skin cuts 
and the patients can be discharged the following day with good and fast recovery. Thank you.